Tell us the tale of <laughs> the Shadow Man. No, Meryl, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's too hard. Meryl, can you tell us the tale of the Shadow Man? <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> I will tell you this as it happened. <clears throat> One night, I was on the computer, and Jessie was outside. The dog. She's on the porch. And she started barking, and she had that bark like the pizza man's here or there's an animal outside. So I got up to see who was there. And I didn't see anything. So I turned I, t oh, I turned the light off. <laughs> Mike, what are you doing? Mike, what are you doing? Mike, what are you doing? What are you watching? He's watching me put Jessica on YouTube, her house. Oh, I got scared. <laughs> Good, I'm glad that's on tape. <laughs> so anyway. Anyway. So I came and I didn't see anything. But then my dog started like barking at the doorknob. And I looked down and it was going like this and turning. And I finally got the light on. But all I could see was a dark shadow passing over the light outside. Are you serious? I swear to God. We're I not religious. <laughs> So, I thought that that's just what happened when somebody walked in front of a light, and I told my parents that, Mom, Dad, somebody's trying to break in the house! And they came running, and the dog was upset, so they believed me, but they just made sure the doors were locked, and that was the end of it. Or so I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think the cat's stuck. <laughs> so, my sister told me the tale of oh the God. shadow man, which she had never shared with me before. And she said that she would be sitting out of the bus stop and on the porch where my sighting was, she like, would see she would see a shadow man okay. saying well, Stephanie and ah! Boo. It's true. And it, go ahead, Stephanie. Meryl, I'm telling you, I stand on my bus stop and I just heard behind me, Stephanie. It, the only way I can describe it is how a very effeminate man would say it. You know, Stephanie. And I just turned around and there was the silhouette of a man in our screened in porch. And the terrifying thing is, we hadn't shared these stories with one another until we had already moved out of this house. So this really, really happened. It really, really happened. We're scared for our lives. We don't know what to do. <laughs> I think those are my creepiest tales.